What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, the uncrowned Otaku. We're back at it with another chapter of Dragon Ball Super that just dropped. And this is going to be a super quick video because really what we're, what we're looking forward to is the next chapter, which will take about a month, maybe two months. But we got Goku still struggling to fight the most powerful in the universe, Gas. This whole most powerful in the universe thing is whack. The Dragon Balls they're using to make the wishes on that, whack -er. Two Dragon Balls? And you don't even gotta wait for them to be reusable. You could just snatch them and go. Whack. Vegeta going into Ultra Ego and still not getting the shine he deserves. Whack. So all in all, this arc, whack to me so far. And we're getting into another part of a, this is where Goku shines. Goku will save the universe. Because Gas is doing everything for his brother. I think his brother's name was Alec, right? I'm pretty sure it's Alec. Alex's trying to make the heaters the super strongest in the universe. And they're still worried about Frieza. If Goku and Vegeta would have told them, yo, we killed Frieza like five times already. I don't even know what could happen now. Nobody's realized that Frieza has been defeated before. Yes, Frieza's back now, but Frieza's been defeated before. And will be defeated again. And Goku's still struggling to learn Ultra Instinct. I did like when he dropped off, he dropped gas off with um, Whis. And when we put the little uh, put the little um, communicator on Goku, we was like, "Why did you bring him here?" Goku was like, "Well, I knew that if he was around you, he'd have to act good. He'd have to control himself a little bit, cause we's got them hands. Gas don't even know he got hands, but deep down, I think something inside of him can sense we's got them hands. You don't want to mess with this dude. So, we's is like, you know, how about your instinct going? Goku tells, "Well, I'm struggling, can't." Keep my heart calm, blah, 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 blah. And Whis is like, well, duh, I can't help you with that part because I'm an angel. I'm different than you. Who are you really? Which is asking Goku, do you know your Saiyan heritage? That's the road we're going down, and that's where I'm interested. Goku, who are you really deep down? Goku is Kakarot, son of Bardock, Saiyan among Saiyans. And he needs to come to grips with that. That's why Vegeta don't call him Goku. Vegeta calls him Kakarot because you're not about to just erase this Saiyan lineage. Goku's never embraced that. We saw in this chapter, he referenced his brother Radis and how he tried to kill him when they met. Because Gas was like, I'd do anything for my brother. And Goku's like, be careful. My brother almost killed me. You can see how that doesn't mean Jack Squat. And Goku has a point. It looks like brothers in this series aren't the best except Gohan. Gohan's a fantastic brother. Trunks, I guess he's a brother now too. He, he a kid, but we know he grows up to be a good brother. We can't really hold that canon anymore because GT isn't canon. But we get totally sidetracked. Goku, Bardock left his scouter with the, the Namekian dude. And the dude is like, yo, here, you need to listen to something. Bardock left the message and is telling Goku, stay alive. And that resonates with Goku. Something it just shocks his core. And now we're in a flashback. So next month's episode is gonna be a flashback, but they might flash forward again. So we can see who knows what's gonna happen. Goku learning who he really is is gonna help him to perfect this Ultra Instinct. Now, once he perfects Ultra Instinct, what can be the next threat? Besides them fighting the gods of destruction themselves, I guess maybe they'll go to the other universes that were too strong to participate in the Tournament of Power. We still have that mystery out there. But when Goku perfects Ultra Instinct and Vegeta perfects Ultra Ego, who banging with them? Like, really, who's really banging with them? They're going to have to go to these stronger universes because we're going to have to have something to hold them to, hold them to, to gauge the scale of power. And then if they can't compete with the stronger universes, what's next? What can they ascend to past Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego? If there was a ceiling, I believe that that that's it. You learned an angel technique. You learned a god of destruction technique. I don't know how you get higher than that. But what did y'all think about this chapter of Dragon Ball Super? Comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I'm Uncrowned Otaku on all social medias. Go ahead and follow me. Do all that jazz. Twitch.tv slash Uncrowned Otaku. Uncrowned Otaku on Instagram. Y'all know what it is. Uncrowned Kingdom. That's the fire for y'all. Speak to me. What's up?